And good evening and welcome to Sandwaves and this week we've got more news, reviews, things to show you and we're starting off with a new Australian film called Two Hands. Now Two Hands is about Jimmy, played by Heath Ledger and it's set in the uh, crime scene of King's Cross in Sydney and what basically what happens is Jimmy does some work for uh, the local gangster Pando and um, loses Pando's money and owes Pando money and basically a lot of violence ensues, some good Aussie humour and um, some quirky characters basically like every other Australian film. So uh, the difference with Two Hands is that it's really well written, we actually have some decent technical values and it's a really different film. Sky, what did you think? Um, I actually really liked Two Hands, I was a bit surprised. It was one of the first Australian movies that I've seen that while definitely set in Australia isn't just a comedy, it's not like Muriel's Wedding, it's definitely not like um, Strictly Ballroom or anything of that kind. It's not a sad and depressing movie like um, some of the other Australian movies we've seen, but it's actually kind of a little bit scary. You're kind of gripping your seat for a while, you're worried about Heath Ledger's character Jimmy, but there are some really funny bits as well. And what I liked about it was that the cinematography was really good, I thought. It wasn't overly bright or um, kitsch, like a lot of Australian films can be, but it was filmed kind of in a very realistic light. It wasn't focusing on a particular, particularly pleasant side of Australian society, really. It was focusing on kind of the downside. Sorry, I didn't notice my facial expression. Um, but it was a good watch. There were some really funny parts. It wasn't a serious film. It wasn't necessarily purely a thriller. And I don't know which camera I'm supposed to be looking at, so just bear with me. And, um, but it was a lot of the characters, the humour came from the way um, the actors portrayed their lines, like it was body language and the way they showed their personalities through their characters, like Brian Brown, he was a nasty guy, but he may, had a few funny lines, but it was through his character that he showed his humour, like the facial expressions or an attitude he'd have to something that you could actually take a completely different role with. So I was actually quite happy with it. And I thought Mariel McClory is her name. She was the young girl, Helen. I thought she played a brilliant role and she was very, very convincing. And I thought it was really, really good. Ben, what do you think? Well, this was actually the first film from uh, Australian director Gregor Jordan, who started off doing film clips, um, notably Christine Arnoux's party film clip, which, as we all know, was pretty shitful. So he's come a long way from doing all these different film clips. Uh, he's got a really polished script, and um, it's something really worth seeing because it's something that's very different for Australian film. So. <laughs> What can I say? Go see it. I'm plugging it. Actually, hang on, hang on, hang on. A dynamite, fun-filled freak show fest. And you can quote me on that. So, oh, yeah. yeah, and one more thing. Um, there are some quirky bits in it which are quite good. Keep an eye out for them. It's very unexpected from what you see, and it is fast-paced in some ways. Cool. There and, you go. And once you've seen the movie, buy the soundtrack. You're not ah. allowed to talk about that is, yet. Is this the right camera? Ah, that camera. I knew that. You're not allowed to talk about it yet. My go. Well, actually, we'll get back to this later. Yes, later would be the key word. Okay, it's my go. I'm going to talk now. I'm going to talk about the Bangin' Summer Extravaganza. Now, I don't think you'll find this on the shelves in any of your music stores because it comes with this magazine. Now, this is Select. If you're into your British music, you'll really like this magazine. Um, used to be one of my favourites for a couple of years and it's pretty much covers Glastonbury, um, soccer, music, bands. You see how often British bands tour and you sometimes curse why you're living in Australia. So check this out, $7.95. You can get it pretty much at any newsagent. And this is the CD, it's brilliant I thought. It's got a lot of really good music on it. It's got Manic Street Preachers, Super Fairy Animals, The Cardigans, Suede, really good song by Travis called She's So Strange. Um, it's kind of a soft, soft song, reminiscent of Radiohead. 
and um, it's got a very, very haunting, haunting voice. Really good. Um, song I particularly like, which you should be hearing now if all's gone well in the control booth, is Scott Four's song Left Turno. It's got a good mix. Um, it's pretty much a mix of electronic beats. There's some really rocky, poppy stuff in it, and um, some acoustic. Some no, it's really good. I really liked it. It's got a good blend. I really do think that this is a CD where there's something for everybody. And um, I'd really check it out. $7.95, you can't go wrong. 17 songs on here. They're all really, really brilliant. Check it out, your news agents. That's it. Ben, two hands. I thought it was going to come in on the CD. Oh, okay, comment on the CD. Well, okay. What does you think My favourite track in the CD is the Jedi Knight's remix of Underworld's Jumbo. Cool. Um, anyway, it's not back their to remix. What? It's not their remix. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, the song's called Jumbo Jedi's and it's the electro dub mix. No, Jedi no, Knights. Look, look. You should read your magazine. Jumbo Jedi's. Okay, excuse me. Right, oh. you should read your magazine because in here, all right, where are you? Talk about that three minutes we have to fill. Da, 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 da. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's remixed by Jedi Knights. I'm right. Anyway. That's not what it says on the CD. Yeah, we should read your magazine. Anyway. It's not my magazine, it's your magazine. <laughs> Two hand soundtrack. Um, this soundtrack is surprisingly good because we don't have Australian bands doing music for an Australian film. We have a good mix of American English and Australian bands kind of contributing to the one artistic You course. did it again! What? They always feel like I'm doing something really embarrassing. You get that. Can I go back to my CD? Yes, you can. Um, the main composer is Serzy Skabuski, who's actually Czechoslovakian. Uh, he did the music for One Hand Clapping, or the sound of One Hand Clapping. Um, it's a really laid back jazzy mix of Powderfinger, um, Alex Lloyd, uh, and Crowded House is on there, Kate Sobrano. So it's something that you can put on, relax, and uh, think back to those wonderful moments of the film. Okay, I forgot to mention. We're having a giveaway today. Someone from our lucky studio audience is going to get this CD and the magazine. So let me pick someone. Mm, that girl with the blonde, just there. Come on down. Come on, come on. Woo! Come and sit with me. Oh, cool. So what's your name? My name's Anna. Oh, really? So do you watch Ben TV often? All the time, all the time. Oh, OK, OK. Right. So how do you like your uh, British kind of bands and the um, pop scene? I like the cardigans. That's good. I like the cardigans. I like the cardigans. I think that's about the only perfect thing I know. Cool. Thank All you. right. Well, that's take nice. that with you. Yeah. Take the magazine. Great. Fantastic. And okay, you have to go now. Okay. Because back to my show. Bye. Thank you. That's all right. And if you want to be in the studio audience, you call Ben TV and find out when we're filming. And maybe you can win a prize too. So. What else we got to talk about today? Well, uh, change to the show. Oh, yep, okay. Um, next week, it was supposed to be this week, but as unorganised as I am, it hasn't happened. Um, we're having a few changes to the show. It's no longer called Soundwaves. It's called the Audio Visual Division, ADV. And as you can see, this week we started ADD. covering... AD, AVD. Yeah, didn't I say AVD? You said ADV. Okay, Sorry. AVD. Sorry about that. Um, I'm not really as ditzy as I'm coming across, okay, I promise. I know it's hard to believe, but it's true. And really quickly, we're having a couple of DJs on, we're going to film them live, it's going Bye. to be ace. Okay, and on to a clip, it's Tiamo by Rap Public. Check it out, it's on Transistor, and see what you'll think, it's an 80s remix. Do yourself a favour. Bye! Yeah. Come on. You gotta go Backstage came for VIPs in my show Sipping up tequils while we do how I feel Now I gotta concentrate the dope be the thrill Real large, gonna get that far Picture, me and you driving a fast car We can do about anything you
choose If you can't pay, girl, I can pay too So, what's the deal? How you feel? Girl, you're down You got love for it I got five on it I reminisce on how I'll make a chill Now I'm a stage girl This I will make a kill Now the time is coming up Gotta make a quick buck Too many guys I know ran out of luck So I got a compliment Say well, so boy, big enough for fun Don't you want your love and kindness? That's the best yet for sure. Being. 